Okay, so by this stage you should be feeling pretty comfortable cantering over a single Cavaletti. You've had your fair share of absolute misses, but those are becoming less and less. And your percentage of good rides should be about 80 to 90 percent now. So now let's take it up a level and add another Cavaletti onto the circle. The ones I'm doing in this video are about 20 meters apart. The closer they are together, the more difficult it is to ride. But between 20 and 30 meters is a good place to start. Right. So the first thing you do after landing over the Cavaletti is look to the next one. This is extremely important in show jumping. Look to your next jump as early as possible. Look at it and don't take your eye off it ever until you're over it and then you're looking at the next jump. This will give you as much time as possible to find your takeoff point. And trust me, as you go up the grades, time becomes a valuable commodity. The course builders give you less and less time between jumps. So make this a habit right now. It always amazes me how many people come to me for coaching and only start looking for their takeoff spot five to six strides away. By that stage, I've already found my takeoff spot. Remember, the further away from the jump, or in this case, the Cavaletti, you can find your takeoff spot, the better. If you can make the adjustments to your canter stride in order to get a good takeoff spot, further away from the jump, and are able to just sit still the last three to four strides, you give your horse a much better chance of clearing the fence. So this is your goal, and unfortunately, it's way easier said than done. But I promise you, it's absolutely achievable. It's like with anything, you spend enough time doing something, you will become a master at it. One of my mottos in life is, hard work gives the ordinary guy a shot at the crown. So work hard, you never know where it might take you.